So VLOOKUP function is one of the most popular functions used in spreadsheets and VLOOKUP is nothing but vertical lookup function where you can search for a value that is in a specific column and get a corresponding value from another column in a data table. So now I have two different examples using which I'll be showing you how VLOOKUP can be used for an exact and an approximate match. So first we look at this example on the right. So in this example, you can see that we have the employee ID, date of birth, name of the employee and the date of joining. So below that, you can see that I have an employee ID here and I want the corresponding name to be filled on the right. So now let's see how we can use the VLOOKUP function to get the corresponding employee name using the employee ID given. So this is the syntax for the VLOOKUP function. So the first parameter here is the lookup value. So the lookup value is nothing but the value that you want to search for in the table. So that will be the employee ID here for me. And then the data table. So that will be the range in which you want to look up and get the result from. So one aspect that you have to uh, keep in mind while working with VLOOKUP function is that the column containing the lookup value must always be the first column in your data table. So this is one disadvantage of VLOOKUP. So here in this table, you can see that I have the employee ID column as the first column. So now that I've given the data table, my third parameter will be the column index. So the column index here will be the column from which you want to get the result value from. So here I want to get the name of the employee. So here in the selected data range, the employee name is in the third column. So here the column index will be three for me. And then you can see the fourth parameter as mode. So similar to what we saw in the match function, this mode parameter helps you choose what kind of match you want to perform. That is an exact match or an approximate match. So here I want an exact match for the employee ID that I'm searching for. So I'm going to use zero. So zero or false indicates an exact match, whereas one or true indicates an approximate match in VLOOKUP. And mode is an optional parameter as you can see. So if you do not enter any value, if you leave it blank, VLOOKUP will take up approximate match as default. You can see that I've got the result that is the name of the employee is Aaron Williams. So you can see that the name of the employee with the employee ID 1452 is Aaron Williams in the data table. And that is what we have got in the result. So now one advantage of giving a cell reference as lookup value is that you need not change the function every single time you want to search for another lookup value. You can simply enter the next lookup value in this cell and the function will give the corresponding result automatically. So now let's say I want to find the name of the employee who has the ID 2508. So for that, I'll simply enter the value here in the cell. And you can see that the name of the employee changed automatically. So, so this way you can simply change the cell containing lookup value and get the corresponding result. So the source data range that we have used in this function need not be in the same worksheet. You can also have the source data range in another worksheet in the same spreadsheet. So this way you can create dashboards where you can have the source data in other worksheets and get the corresponding values in the dashboard. So now that we have seen how an exact match works in VLOOKUP, so now let's see how an approximate match can be used in VLOOKUP. So here on the left, you can see that I have an example on top. I have the uh, scores and the corresponding grades being listed for me. So here you can see that the scores are actually rounded values which indicate a range that is from 0 to 49, the grade is F and from 50 to 59, the grade is D and so on. So this is just like a reference table that can be used for giving the corresponding grades based on the scores. So here below this table, you can see that I have the scores listed. So these are some examples of actual scores that the students might get. So you have, you can see that I have 54, 43, 87 and 12. So these values are not listed in the table above. So this is where the approximate match in VLOOKUP comes in. So now I'm going to use VLOOKUP to find the corresponding grades for the scores that have been listed here. So my lookup value will be the score here and the data table will be this table on top. So you can note that I have the score column as the first column in my data table and the column index will be the grade column here, it is two. And for mode, as I mentioned, when you do not enter any value for mode in VLOOKUP, it will take approximate match as default. So I'm just leaving it blank and I'll enter. So we've got the grade as D for the score 54. You can see in this table that the range 50 to 59 indicates D. So you can similarly fill these cells with the formula. 
So before we start filling up those cells, there is one tiny change that you have to do. That is change the row numbers here in the source range as absolute reference. You can simply add a dollar sign before the row numbers in the source range to make them absolute. So absolute reference means that when you perform fill series, those row numbers will not change. So the source range remains the same even while performing fill series. So now that I've changed it to absolute reference, I'll perform fill series by a double click. So this way, no matter how long your table is, you can simply add a function to one particular cell and, and use fill series to fill the other remaining cells. So this is how VLOOKUP can be used to look up for a value and get the corresponding result value from the data table.